Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. If you've ever had trouble playing back media on a portable device such as an iPhone, an iPad, or other phone or tablet, then this episode is for you. We're going to show you how, using Intel QuickSync, you can quickly and easily convert your entire media library to a format that is optimized in terms of the space it takes up as well as compatibility for whatever device you want. <laughs> As you're going to see from our performance testing, QuickSync absolutely destroys any other method of quickly converting video. So, what do you need in order to use it? Number one, above everything else, you'll need an Intel Ivy Bridge or Sandy Bridge processor with onboard HD graphics, because the HD graphics are actually the part of the processor that's doing the media conversion, not the CPU component. You will also need a motherboard that has onboard video outputs, such as a Z68 or Z77 motherboard. Last but not least, you will need a compatible converting program, such as Media Converter 7, which is what we'll be using for our benchmarks today. Now, if you're using your onboard video, you won't have to do any of this part. However, if you're using a dedicated graphics card, then you will want to enable LucidLogic's Virtue or Virtue MVP, depending on the board you're using. They both have the same functionality in this context. So we're in the BIOS of our ASUS board, and we're turning on iGPU Multi-Monitor. Set this item to enabled to activate LucidLogic's Virtue MVP function. Now we can install the Virtue application. So the Virtue application does a few things. One is that it lets us use the onboard video for QuickSync, and two is that it allows us to use the dedicated graphics card for gaming as well. So whether we're plugged into the onboard video on the back of the motherboard or whether we're plugged into the dedicated graphics card, we can use the onboard video for what it's good at, which is basically media conversion, not gaming, and then we can use the dedicated graphic card for what it's good at, which is running 3D games. We will have to restart the computer and we will show you where we're at when we come back. Now that we're back in Windows, all we have to do is go into the Virtue Control Panel and press the big red button, which is on off. Bada bing, bada boom. It is on now. So when we go to Media Converter 7, you can see under Hardware Acceleration, well, you won't be able to see. We're not going to do a close-up to show you what you can't see. But there's no option for Intel QuickSync. However, if we close her down and open her back up, now we have three options on the drop-down, Intel QuickSync Video, NVIDIA CUDA, and None, which means we're using the CPU itself. So we're going to show you all three of these scenarios and how they compare in terms of performance. One step we didn't show you guys is make sure you have the drivers installed for your Intel HD graphics. Just download them from intel.com. Using Media Converter 7 is very simple. We're going to take the same test file, which is a 1 gig, 3.5 minute 1080p file from my camera. It's in .mov format. And we are going to convert it to an iPhone 4 compatible format using all three different settings. So let's start with no hardware acceleration using just the CPU. It took about a minute to finish, 57 seconds to be exact. Now, bear in mind this is a three minute file, so if we were doing hour long files, like if you had a bunch of TV shows you were converting, you'd be waiting a pretty long time. So I'm going to show you guys what kind of savings we can get from trying once more with NVIDIA CUDA. So our CPU scenario uses a 3570K, and it had all four cores pegged. Now, if we were using something with hyperthreading, it would probably go a touch faster, but I think that's pretty representative of what you know, a few hundred dollar CPU can do. Here we go with the NVIDIA CUDA scenario. In spite of our use of NVIDIA's latest Kepler GTX 670 GPU, it still took 1 minute 37 seconds to complete the same task as the CPU alone. Now, start this. My confidence level in QuickSync is so high that I'm going to run this in real time to show you guys how the performance compares to the CUDA solution as well as the CPU on its own. So we're using the HD graphics this time. Remember, this is going up against a several hundred dollar CPU itself and a several hundred dollar video card just using Intel HD graphics. And you can do whole batches at a time, which is great. You can take whole seasons and copy them over to another folder. So when you're doing, wow, 24 seconds, done. When you're converting a three minute video, OK, it's probably not that big of a difference. You'll save yourself 40 seconds. How about if you're converting hours of video at a time? It's going to take three hours to convert with the CPU. You might get yourself down to a little over an hour using QuickSync. So that is a pretty compelling time savings if you do a lot of media conversion. Very cool for a $20 piece of software and just any old Intel CPU as long as you install the free Virtue software. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips about a technology that I personally think is pretty cool. 
Don't forget to subscribe.